incorporate this part, part number 37, upper die pressure ring. It's part of the button maker project. And start off by logging into Autodesk 360. You do that here. Sign in. I'm already logged in. And then, uh, specify your project next. Select project. You're going to um, make sure that you're there's a check next to your button maker 360 project and the fact that you and uh, verify that you are uh, logged on to the uh, the cloud Autodesk 360 cloud uh, select done I'm going to create a new part and a new sketch on the XY plane I'm going to draw a circle at the origin, and the diameter is going to be 3.063. I'm going to draw another circle at the origin, and the diameter is going to be 2.063. Check. And extrude. I'm going to extrude in the reverse direction. Uh, the distance is going to be 0.313. I'm going to uh, choose both of the profiles. Okay. Come here to this icon, go to the sketch, and uh, make it visible. And I'm going to extrude one more time. Uh, this time I'm going to choose just this inner uh, circle. I'm going to uh, reverse it and remove material. And I'm going to go in 0.031. I'm going to create another sketch on this face. I'm going to turn on construction geometry and I'm going to draw a circle uh, starting at the origin, a uh, diameter of 2.625. I'm going to turn off construction. I'm going to choose my circle tool. I'm going to place a circle here at this point here, a diameter of 0.187. I'm going to create a circular pattern. I'm going to choose the circle I just created. Uh, choose the center with that. And I'm going to make, use, make, create a total of three holes. Hit OK. Hit the green checkbox. I'm going to extrude these three uh, circles a distance of 0.312. Hit OK. I'm going to create a fillet. I'm going to make it uh, a radius of 0.093. I'm going to choose this fillet, uh, this one, and this one, and hit the check. I'm going to rotate the part around and uh, create a sketch on this face. I'm going to place a point at the uh, origin 0, 0 and 
another point up here at uh, I'm going to hit the tab key 0 tab 0.5 tab enter I'm going to create another point in uh, tab 0, tab minus 0 0.688, tab, enter. Let's choose my circle tool. And at this point, I'm going to put a uh, circle of a diameter of 0.25. Hit the checkbox. I'm going to extrude this profile a distance of one inch. I'm going to create a fillet of Choose this fill this diameter here. Hit the green check. Hit the check. I'm gonna come back to my extrusion and make my check my sketch visible. I'm gonna uh, choose this hole here and uh, create my hole tool. Use my hole tool. It's going to be uh, through a whole quarter inch. Hit OK. I'm going to choose this point here and choose the hole tool. And this hole is going to be a, a countersink hole. It's a quarter through. Uh, this is point 0.3. Four, four, and the uh, angle is 82 degrees. Hit OK. I choose my fillet tool and uh, I'm going to make the radius 0.031. And I'm going to choose this edge and that edge and hit the check. And I come up here and turn the visibility of the sketch off. I'm going to come up to this icon and choose eye properties. Choose physical. Go to material and uh, set the material to steel. Hit OK. I'm going to save this part as 37 upper die pressure ring. And if you're done uh, for the day, you could uh, sign out of uh, sign out of Autodesk 360.